Ney Soluções promove a segunda edição do Ney Conference and Show. Richard Molle, renomado conferencista internacional e mais conhecido como pai da tecnologia PLC, proferiu a palestra A Fábrica do Futuro. Eu irei fazer algumas perguntas a ele. Richard, it's great to have you here. The first question is related to the main focus of your presentation, which is the factory of the future. Could you please tell us a little bit about the factory of the future? The future is digital and wireless and with simple components, not complexity, and no people to put it in. So we have to have what amounts to not an erector set, but the kids' toys, those plugging things, uh, what do you call them? Those little toys, those bricks with the bumps on them. Legos. You got to have Lego components. So you get, only get 10 Lego components, you put them in there. And the secret of things like the programmable controller and the iPad is when you design it, nobody knows what it's going to be used for. We're going to design stuff that works wireless. There's no wiring. We don't have any installation. It's going to be all digital. It's all going to be bandwidth, okay? And there are warning systems and lights everywhere. We've got to be able to know the state of the system, the wellness of the system, with a simple glance. One screen or three screens top should be able to monitor anything because the computer system should bring to you only those things that are important, not everything. Next question. Perfect. Thank you for the answer. Which technologies do you believe will be available and present on this, on this model? Well, the primary thing is the understanding of games. The new systems, see the game guys here and watching this will love it. The game guys are the people who make models and simulations that work, are easy to use. Those technologies are going to be used to simulate systems before we build them. And after they're built, you'll be running the system as the modern pilot does when he flies his airplane. The pilot thinks he's flying an airplane. He's not. He's flying a Game Boy. What's the role of the human being in the factory of the future? Zero. Well, the reason it's zero is interesting. A little bit of history. When I'm in automation, robots forever, since 1955 something, 19, the first numerical control machine I did in 54, I think. So it's been around a long time. General Motors said, I have to hire people to make cars. They had to pay This is 20 years ago, $60 an hour for a training person. I'm not going to blame the unions or management or any of that. There is no blame. Don't stop thinking blame. And they couldn't get people. So they come to people like me and say, can you automate, do welding automatically? We say, sure, be fun. Thank you very much for the answer. I, I don't think you thank me, but that's okay. Edson Mater para Ney Soluções.